English teacher telling me, tell me, you are not even auto station. You see, you are not getting low marks in your scores. I was even told that you're not going with bad companies. I have to point to your parents. Very funny. You see, this our principal annoys me most. You girls in your final year should regard your bodies as God's temple. Uh -huh. You should not defile God's work. <laughs> and if any student or teacher wants you for any immoral purposes, report to me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but again for nothing. <laughs> Forget all those stupid teachers. Mm -hmm. yeah. We come to this life once, yeah. and I, I must enjoy myself to the fullest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let's forget about those old taboos. Mm -hmm. After all, didn't they enjoy themselves when they were young? I want to This is unbelievable. Disgust. 
something. <laughs> oh, this is appalling. Hmm? You're a bunch of disgrace. You. I thought you were from a good home. Huh? Ah. Give me that pack of cigarettes. Bring it! Read it! Hold it! Mm -hmm. The Federal Ministry of Health wants that tobacco smoking is dangerous to your health. Very good. You can tell what they are by what they do. Huh? God has not created you to destroy your lives. Hmm? Look. Smoking? Alcohol? Immoral attitude all leads to destruction. Look, you are laying bad examples for the young ones. Your way of life is unacceptable unto the Lord. Nonsense. You have to watch your ways, you have to change. You can't serve God. And back us at the same time. You better change so that you don't ruin your lives. Nonsense. Will you now march to school one after the other before I lose my temper? I know how to deal with people like you. What else? Nonsense. On your knees, everybody. All of you. Nonsense. Listen. I caught those ones at a nearby beer parlor drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes. Ah. Can you imagine? Even that one. That one. He asked one of the girls to sit on his laps. Huh? Can you imagine? Look, I won't allow you to spoil the other students for me. You are bad eggs. I'm going to place you on suspension for the rest of the term. Oh. Oh. Oh, please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please. Mrs. Bolude, prepare a letter informing their parents individually. Yes, sir. Aki, I want you. Bad company corrupts good character. You, a brilliant student, messing yourself up. Maybe this will teach you a lesson. Please, 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 Aki, you want to destroy the good name of this family? Ah. Ah. No. No. I won't take this from you. I know what we suffer in order to bring you to this level. What's happening here? What's happening? Take it easy now. Take what easy? Just take what easy? Look, I'm going to deal with you severely. We are going hungry in order to make you somebody in life. But you are just gambling away with your life. Aki! Ah! My dear. Ah! Let me God. handle this. Ah! Aki. There is no greater joy than to see that my children walk in the way of the Lord. Destruction awaits whoever decides to tread the path of Satan. Are you listening? The reward of sin is sorrow. 
It is hopelessness. And as a matter of fact, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Listen, son. Have you ever seen your mom or myself at a bar? Do we smoke? If you decide not to put into practice the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ, then you are not following God. And when you are not following God, you are perishing. Son, the way of a fool is always right in his own eyes. But he who listens to advice is wise. It's in the Bible. But there is all for he who repents. You have to retrace your footsteps to God. <laughs> Son, a good name is better than riches. We, we, we didn't drink alcohol. We were not smoking. Uh. We went there to drink water. That's all. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, Aki! <laughs> what do you mean by that? Were you not supposed to be in the classroom? What were you doing outside? Idiot! After all, a man will only reap what he sows. Dad, it's as if you don't want to listen to me. If that is the way you see it, then... Come back here, Aki! Aki! Come back here! Aki! Aki! Come back here! Aki! Come back here! Aki! It's okay, it's okay. Hey, we need to pray for this boy. Let's pray to God to something is that. And to preach the word of God to him over and over again. Don't allow this word to give us our petition. It's okay. What are you doing sitting in my parlor? I've been here all day waiting for you. <sighs> oh my God, it's three o'clock. Where have you been? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Huh? Why are you lawyering me? Am I a baby? But, honey, I'm your wife. I get worried when you stay out late in the night. Mm. You never know. Danger locks around in the night. I need to care for you and the family. That's what marriage is all about. Enough of that, Samuel. <laughs> I am a full-grown man. Listen to me. I am not a baby that should be carried about. You understand? I don't mean to hurt your feelings. It's just that I need to care for you. It is enough. Enough of that lecture and someone. You have already hurt my feelings. Your dinner is on the table. I don't want to eat. Should I make you a cup of coffee? Drink it for yourself. Taking you so long to open the gate. Oga, okay, I beg no verse. I don't know, say you they come today since today and Saturday. I beg no verse. What do you mean? Eh? What do you mean? Is this how you do your work around here? Ha, uh, Oga, okay, I'm not no saying as you. Uh, I beg no verse. Sorry, sir. Look at That's how you spend the whole time sleeping. I beg open the gate. Sorry, sir. Small boy, they talk to me like that. I've not been 
fault. The time we are supposed to go to school. Not be as quality as they do. Mr. James, I sent for you. The security man told me that you were in the office over the weekend. From my records, you had no business being in the office. And one of the computers in the reception hall is missing. Sir, I, I, I hope you are not insinuating that I stole one of the computers in the reception. Well, we're still investigating the matter. And while that investigation is going on, I'm afraid I have to place you on suspension. Sir, good day. I can't understand this. I just, I just can't phantom this. Me, a computer theft suspect? Only yes. there's someone at the door. Who is it? Hello, ma. Hello. Are you the wife of Mr. James? Yeah. yeah. I have a letter for him from his office. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Sign it. to the office on Saturday. Why? Is the office now out of bounds on Saturdays? Well, look at huh? now. I told you I went to complete some assignments. Ah, I mean, everyone goes to the office on Saturday. I mean, ah, there's nothing wrong with it. Table at all. I have pains all over my body. I have no appetite, and even if I take anything, I vomit it immediately. Don't worry, Mr. James. We'll do everything to get you back to good health. Meanwhile, the lab scientists will come to take samples of your urine, saliva, and stool for analysis. But, Doctor. Yes, ma'am. Can't you tell us the nature of the disease my husband has contacted? No, madam. Until we have the result of the lab test. Ah, doctor, how long will it take? Eh? Oh, Mr. James, very soon. Ah, doctor, I'm dying slowly. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Mm. Everything will be all right. Mm? Please don't say that. You will survive this, honey. You will ah. survive it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm? Who have I offended? Eh? Ah, this pain is unbearable. Oh, God. Father, have mercy. Oh, Mr. James, I'm afraid you are suffering from a sexually transmitted disease which I suspect is syphilis. <clears throat> the result shows the symptom of the disease. Meanwhile, I'll give you some drugs to use. Jesus. 
And madam, we need to carry out some tests on you as well. Because the disease is contagious. That's alright. Alright, uh, and you will please abstain from sex during the period of medication. That's okay, doctor. Alright. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I went to one party. Oh my god, Kim turned on my page. The guys, they were both. Oh, you would have been sweating if you had seen the way I was dancing. I was just, oh, one boy just came up to me. Seven guys were just dancing around me. Ah, oh, you, you missed out. You missed, you missed out. Oh, I haven't changed though. There's nothing in your head. I haven't changed. So, what's in this present? It's just a little something. Just open it. Um, so Titi, where is your mum and dad? Well, you know my mum, she's a nurse, so she'll be working long hours, she'll come back around tomorrow. And my dad is a businessman, he has to travel from one place to another, from America to China mm. to uh, Italy to Germany. So you're just relaxing, you're not <coughs> doing anything. So are you doing anything for your birthday? Um, no, I'm just staying at home relaxing. Yeah. Doing what again, sorry? Staying at home relaxing. I thought you said there's a party. Yeah, she knows. Uh -huh. They're just doing what? I'm just staying at home. Uh -uh. She knows we're gonna have a party anyway. No, we're not having a oh party. Oh God, Tipsy, why? Uh -uh. Why do you have to even disgrace me in front of my friend like this? Why? Uh -huh. You're just doing what? You're just relaxing. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a party. Uh -uh. No. Listen, that uh -huh. story is, yeah? I've got a free phone, yeah? Free drink, free food, anything you want. You just won't go away. We can't have a party. Why? Uh -huh. you. My parents can't... didn't give me permission to have a party. My parents, my parents. How old are you? Are you still a baby? Okay, but we can't, we can't finish too late. Yeah, mm. whatever, man. We would finish by five. I'm not that much boys, man. Uh, uh, only five on the scale. Five boys. And no alcohol. Oh, your oh friend is a joke, guys. Yeah. <laughs> she's still young. She's not, she's not, she's not, she's not, she's she's young in the brain. <laughs>
mess. I've spent all the money I have on drugs. Where do I get money to look after this boy? Honey, I've tried my best. I've gone to all new relations and friends. Maybe we should try our family doctor. But we are still owing him a lot of money. How is the boy now? There is no improvement. It's still the same. Who is it? Go and see who is at the door. Well, good afternoon, Mr. James. Ah, doctor. You're welcome. I was just passing by and I thought I should ask after your health. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's Bolaji. What is happening here? Ah, doctor. Hmm? Boy? Help us look at him, please. Can you bring him to the clinic, please? Ah, yes. Thank you, doctor. All right, all right. Eh, but we are owing you a lot of money. Oh, no problem about that. There's doctor, no problem. check him. No problem. Check my child, please. Huh? Doctor. Child, please check him. Balaji. Doctor, please do something quick. Doctor. Yeah. Balaji. Doctor. What is it? Doctor. What is it? What is it? Doctor. Oh. Balaji. Hey. What Doctor. Is it? Tell ah, me. Balaji. Hey. Balaji. Doctor. Ah. Balaji. Ah. Doctor. Tulani, you only need to put your trust in God. He's the only one that can rebuke the storm in your family. There's a need for you to draw closer to God and be more prayerful. Thank you for your advice. I will take to it. Ah, Sister Richard, thank you. Well, ah, thanks for coming. I'm very sorry about your son's death. I really am sorry. <sighs> You see, you need to, to pray the more with your family. 
He's the only one that can comfort those among. Just take heart, eh? Thank you, Richard. It's going to be well, eh? We really appreciate you. Thanks for coming. Ah, I'm really sorry. Please okay. take heart, eh? I will. I have to go now. Okay. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Thank you. I'm sorry, Richard. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. It's Extend right. my greeting to your children. It's all right. Yeah, bye bye. God planned that I came home last night with you. After the last uh, six meeting which I had, the spirit just told me that I must come. And I said to come on. Yeah, by the time I came home, I was shocked and surprised. The whole house was in a mess. Total mess. Incredible. And this is because we are not home. My advice is that. Anytime you are going to be on night duty, let me know so that I will schedule myself. But I want you to remember what happens to Eli in the biblical times. He allows his children to go in the way of the world. They went vile. He did not do anything about it. And God punished the entire family. I don't pray that this happened to us. But we need to do something. Honey, the nurse on duty was sick. And she needed somebody to stand in for her. I was the only one available. No other person could have done that. And apart from that, we both know that we need extra money to pay our heavy, heavy bills this month. You know? I mean, so I, that, that was why I had to take it up. Look, should we abandon our parental responsibilities because we need to pay bill? I don't think this is wise. I've noticed lapses recently. We need to train these children in the world of the Lord so that it can be well with them. Your spiritual life, you need to think about it. On Sundays now, you are not, you are not available to go to church. You are at work. And everything of this world will go with the world. Our spiritual life is much more important than every other thing. I want us to think about this. Honestly, I think you have a point there. I'll try and see to the physical and spiritual well-being of the family. That's good. Ah. Hey, remember we promised to call Tolani and her husband today? Oh, oh yes, oh yes, ah, I remember. Oh, they lost their son. Please go and give them a call, please. Hello? Tolani? Hello, yes, it's Shade, yes, it's me speaking. Ah, sister. How are you? How are you doing? We are all fine, no? Oh. We are so sorry about the whole thing. Oh, sorry about it, sorry. We are fine, we are fine. No, we are just bothered about you. Are you okay? Oh, my God. It is well with you. Please, don't stress yourself this time around. You don't need anything that will stress you, please. I know it is very painful, yes, I know, I know, it is very painful, yes, but the Lord will surely comfort you, please, avoid anything that will make your blood pressure to rise, please, I just beg you in the name of the Lord, okay, okay, that's fine, how is your husband, oh, is he there with you, yes, he is here, let me talk with him. Okay, ma. Ah, Aki, how are you? Ah, I'm fine, thank you. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. Oh, 
sorry, sorry about the whole thing. We are so sorry. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong. Yeah, just hold on for Uncle. He's here. Hello. Uh, hello, sir. How are you, sir? Uh, how is the family, sir? We are all fine. Yes, we are all fine. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I was very sad when I heard the news. Please accept my sympathy. I pray that God will continue to sustain you. Thank you, sir. Please, I want you to take it as a man. I know it's very painful, but uh, you know, uh, God knows best. Cast all your burden on Christ. He's abundantly able. He will comfort you. Amen. He will bless you. Amen. I pray that He will continue to sustain you. Mm. Thank you, sir. Please, put the tragedy behind you. May God continue to be with your family. Amen. Thank you, sir. I, I hope you got our letter to you, sir. Yes, yes, I, I, I received the letter. The plan is that uh, Tanya will be coming to America when my niece comes home. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, we will also make the necessary arrangements for uh, Tanya's uh, uh, traveling. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We are so grateful, sir. I pray that God continues to strengthen you. Thank you, sir. Bye for now. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Mm. I really feel for them. Mrs. James. Yes, sir. The tests show that you have the pelvic inflammatory disease which is as a result of the syphilis you contacted through your husband. This has led to the blockage of a fallopian tube and has also led to infertility. What does that mean, doctor? Uh, it means you might not be able to have another child. What? Doctor, but we just lost one of our two children. I have only one surviving child. Yeah, you have to take things easy. <laughs> <laughs> honey, take it easy, honey. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> you need to call somebody! <laughs> Why don't you let this man assist you by taking some of the burden off you? No, come on, Bodaki. Before this man goes his own way, let him assist you now. He cares for you. Ask him for help before it is too late. Why not unburden yourself on him? Release this burden so that you can be free. The Lord said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. He says, My yoke is easy and my burden is light, Brother Key. Let this man assist you now. Brother Key. Let this man assist you. James. You're right. God is wonderful. I can just Peter! Oh, it's good to see you. <laughs> As you <laughs> Aki. Piro the pastor. <laughs> As you president. God <laughs> is marvelous. You cannot believe it. 
that it was only yesterday that I was discussing with one of our colleagues back in the university. And I told him how much I would love to see you. I never knew I will see you today again. <laughs> this is good. How are you now? Ah, fine. Ah, good to see you. Pastor Piro. <laughs> ah, ah. SU Pastor on campus. Ah. Oh boy, you never change, oh. So. Ah, ah. I remember how you used to preach crusades and everything on campus. <laughs> Pastor Piro. Ah, okay, you see, as God will have it. I am now an ordained pastor. Mm. I could not resist the calling any longer. Eh, uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> I've been trying to place the face. You were King's roommate, right? Yes. Nice Wait. to see you again. <laughs> I recognize the face. Uh -huh. This is... Uh... Susan. Yes, Susan! <laughs> How are you? Fine. Ah, that's good. Ah, that's good. Ah, this is wonderful. <laughs> you two are married now. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> and how is the family? Uh, okay. uh, sweetie, just go and wait for me in the car. <laughs> Pastor, ah, you do the talk. <laughs> she gives me the right vibes at the right time. <laughs> but, Aki, aren't you married to her? Forget Rons. My wife is safe and sound at home. Aki, God does not approve the use of our bodies for immoral purposes. Mm. It is the temple of God mm. and it should be kept so. Mm. It should not be defiled mm. now. Mm. Yes, yes. Look, look. We are all differently talented in different areas. My own talent is I give people good pleasure. <laughs> and uh, it is something between two consenting adults. <laughs> okay. The fact that what you do, some other people enjoy, doesn't make it right. I can see you are comfortable and rich, but these are just worldly values. Mm. You should value your spiritual life the more. Don't you think that you are somehow spiritually blind? Uh, okay, okay, thank you. Uh, Pastor, actually, you see, uh, this is my card. We are actually in a hurry. We have an appointment. Uh, I will get across to you. Call me on that number anytime. No eh? problem. Let, okay. me, let me look for my, my own too. Uh, if okay, you can find me, okay, see here. All right, uh, okay. I'll get in touch with Pastor you. Pastor Biro! <laughs> see, see you some other time. Okay, see you. Uh, ah, King James! <laughs> Pastor Biro! Thank you, Lord Father, for your grace, for your favors, and your mercies. I would pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Brother Aki, thank God that you have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ at last. That is good. <laughs> thank God. And I want to assure you that from now on, you will start experiencing the mighty hand of God in your life. His grace, His favors, and His mercies. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like a heavy burden has been lifted off my shoulders. That is it. <sighs> Henceforth, my family and I will start worshipping in your church. Hallelujah. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, all the glory belongs to whom? To God. Hey, Susan, how are you doing? Oh, I had a now on your own. That's good. I congratulate you. You know many people had written you off. <laughs> mm. Well, we thank God for his faithfulness and his mercies towards me. You sound more like a pastor. I'm sure your pastor friend must have influenced you. Well, we give God all the glory. Anyway, I came. You know you're the only one in my life now. I've broken up with my third husband. And you know, I'll need someone to... You know now, eh? Excuse me. This is an abomination. Look, if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. And all things are becoming new. Really? Hey, am I hearing you right? Hey, <laughs> yes. You are hearing me right. Uh, Susan, you better stop messing about with your body. It's the temple of the Lord. And moreover, there are so many diseases you can contact. HIV and what have you. 
You need an encounter with Christ. You need Christ in your life, Susan. Pastor Aki. Hey, when did you meet with Jesus Christ? <clears throat> um, you need Christ, Susan. You're asking me out of your car. Hello, mommy. Yeah, it's Tanya. How are you doing? We are all fine. How is my sister? How is her husband, the children, and your friends? Yeah, mom, they are all doing fine. I, I tried to speak with dad, but I couldn't get through to him. Oh, you will soon get used to network failure. There has become a routine of the network providers. Anyway, as they say in Lagos, Nigeria go better. Uh, Mom, please, can you just treat this as a topmost secret between me and you? I found love. Wh what's the top secret? I can't hear your murmuring. You better speak loudly before the call is terminated. Okay, Mom. One nice looking, gentle, handsome guy has proposed marriage to me. His name is... Don't tell me you're replacing marriage for your studies. You've gone to Chicago to chop for a man to marry Tanya. By the way, have you put this development before the Lord? Hey, Mom, I wish you were here. There is no time for church service here. Look, I have many bills to pack up on a weekly basis. So, I'm preparing to get married. I need to work harder, you know, to save for the ceremony. So you don't have more time left for church service. This is unbelievable. You don't attend church services because of work? Because you need money to upset bills? Haven't you read in the Bible that you should seek the kingdom of God first and every other thing shall be added unto you? Christ come first. It seems to me you are putting the wrong foot forward. God says, whatever we ask, we should believe that we receive them. Let's seek God's guidance in whatsoever you do. I've heard you, Mom. I'll put it before the Lord as your advice. By the way, what's his name? I mean, the gentleman that proposed to you. Well, his name is Dakbo Olaore. Don't worry, I'll call you back in the next two weeks. The credit on this phone is running down. I love you, Mom. Bye. Bye, darling. Brother Akin. Ah. Madam, you're welcome. Yes, Sorry for keeping you waiting. Yeah, no I was actually having a meeting. Oh. Oh. Um, it's a pity to tell you that what I saw in the place of prayer does not go well for your daughter and her fiancé. The vision God showed me is that they are not meant for each other. That will be very hard on our daughter. Ah, Huluwa Tonya. Well, we have no choice but to let her know that uh, she has not yet found a suitable partner. You are right there. Our future happiness matters most. We have to let her know this. 
Thank you very much, Pastor. I, I will keep in touch with you. No problem. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. You are welcome. Anytime. Tanya. Yes. My visa expires in the next two weeks, and we have not been able to get through to Nigeria. I decided we can go ahead with the preparation. Well, maybe we should go to the registry and fix a date. We will inform her after sorting the date out. That's fine, we can do that. I think that is better. That flower does not belong to you. Drop it. Look for another one. Your dream can be interpreted as a warning that Dakbo should not marry Tanya. Two of them cannot make a good match. You see, the Lord is ready to provide new people afresh for each of them, as he did in the Bible for Isaac and Rebecca. Thank you, Reverend Mrs. I cannot go against the will of the Lord. I will write to Dakpo and let him know about this. And I do apologize for bringing you here. It is due to the problem I have with my legs. I have arthritis. Sorry, how is it now? It's getting better now. Praise God. Sister, how are you? How is Toya? Her sisters are fine, I hope. But why? We ask them not to marry until they hear from us. Our pastor even asked them not to marry for they are not meant for each other. Sister, this is hard for me to bear. The Spirit of the Lord said no. Sister, uh, we told Oluwa Toya to specifically suspend actions on that marriage. Ah, but, 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 no, no. Ah. Mama, we have arranged that uh, Tanya's family and us should get to know one another. Therefore, we have arranged for a get-together meeting at Tanya's place in Ibadan for this weekend. Mm, it is a good idea. In our days, the families are introduced before even the couple got married. But now, reverse is the case. People now put the cats before the horse. Mama! <laughs> mm, it is well. I have arthritis. I feel severe pains in my leg from time to time. But I asked my brother, Ola Niyo, and some other relations to attend the meeting. When I feel better, I will arrange a time to go and visit Tanya's parents. Mm, I think that is very good, Mama. Thank you very much. Uh, but what about the, the drugs I sent the other time?
so do you. Ah, so do you. So do you. Honey, I hope you are taking care of me. How are you, Pastor? Oh, lucky. Dabs, dabs. How are you? <laughs> How are you, sir? You're welcome, sir. Ah, my brother. How are you? Thank you, sir. I'm fine. Are you Jide Olani? Yes. <laughs> yes. You worked at uh, Sunlight Company. Yes, yes, yes. Nami. Nami is with that. As a security man. Yes. <laughs> I see. <clears throat> yes. I don't remember you now. You be Mr. Akin James. You liar! You lied against me! And I lost my job! And my child was so sick! I was in a financial mess! And he died! Get out of my house! Get out of my house! Father, forgive me. He did unfortunately say I lie against you. Now me steal the computer. I don't change now. I still am sell and take the money, pay my picking them uh, school fees. I beg, forgive me. Get out of my house, please. Please. Ah, please, please forgive him. Please. For God's sake. If you can't forgive those that have offended you now, how do you expect God to forgive your own sins? Mm. And remember, the Bible says that we must wait to forgive those that have offended us seven times, seventy times in a day. So please, for God's sake, forgive him. Please. Please, please. 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 please forgive him. Please, for God's sake. Please forgive him. Get out of my house! Please. Get, 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 get out of my house, Take You are Christian now. Le leave me alone. Take Look, it. leave me alone. My only son died, and I should forgive him. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Everybody, leave me alone, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. You are Christian now. I am. Pastor, please. I want you to help us appeal to that good nature. You should just forget about the past. He still insists I should leave that boy. Please help us. It's just a case of transferred aggression. We need your intervention to save our marriage. Well, that is no problem. But first, we need divine guidance through prayers. Let us pray. And Pastor, please, don't forget about the photo of the womb. No problem. Thank you. And so, Father, we thank you for the lives of these your children that have come to seek your face concerning their marriage. We pray, Lord, that you divinely intervene. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you You're sir. welcome. You. All the best. Yeah. So you're the pastor? Yes, I am. Have your seat. Thank you. Uh, when was the last time you saw Aki? I saw him six months ago at his new office. Oh, that's okay. That's good. Can I help you? Yes. Yes. You see, Pastor, I'm trapped between the devil and the blue sea. I'm HIV positive. What? Jesus Christ. I got infected through a man I met eight months ago after breaking up with my last husband. The doctor says it will grow to full-blown AIDS any moment from now due to the high count of the virus in my system. And besides, my immune resistance level is very low. Pastor, I'm red. Pastor, I need your help. Well, I'm sorry about this. And I pray that the Lord will forgive you all your sins. Amen. You see, at this point, 
All you need to do is come to Jesus, the one that made you. He's ready to save you. And there's nothing important for him to do. The Bible says that if we have faith, even as small as that of a mustard seed, you can tell the mountain to move and it will do. All you just need to do is come to him and accept him into your life and it will change your situation. Suzanne. Pastor. Are you ready to give your life to Jesus? I'm ready. Pastor, I'll do anything. You are sure? I'm sure. Then, repeat after me. Father, I've come to you. I've come to you. You're welcome, man. Mm. Thank you, man. I'm happy that we met at last. I'm happy too. And I thank you for your love over Taya and Dagbo. May God lift you up. Amen. Ma, feel free to ask me anything you need. My husband will soon be back. I do expect him to be this long. Don't worry, my dear. This is my house. Okay. I just pray that this matter concerning your husband and my brother Olanio should be resolved so that our children can live happily. As I've said earlier on, God will take control. If God can forgive us, I believe that my husband will definitely forgive Mr. Olani. And I will be the happiest woman in and the world. Too. Peace be unto this house. And unto those that are coming in. <laughs> How funny. Pastor, where are the two of you coming from? What a pleasant coincidence. I met Pastor at the entrance to our gate. That is not a coincidence. It is God incidence. Why? Because that is the way God has planned it. <laughs> I only came to see about that king. Okay. Oni, mm. Pastor, meet that mom. Hey! You're welcome, ma. God bless uh, you. You are welcome, ma. God bless you. God bless so you. good to meet you, ma. Aki. <laughs> the youth copper. Excuse me, lady. Oh, yes. That's just a minute. And so you experiment. Not minding. What kind of can I help you? Oh, yes, of course. Mm, you see, actually, uh, I've been noticing you around this area. And uh I see that you are a wonderful person and that you go about your business quietly without disturbing anybody. I mean, you are different from the other ladies I see around here. And you are beautifully talented. So I just thought I should express my feelings towards you today. Thank you. Yes. Uh, excuse me, beautiful lady. What's your name? My name is Adoni. Adoni? Hmm. That's a sweet and beautiful name. Uh, where do you live, Aduni? Not so far from here. Eh, I see. Ah, sorry, I should have started by introducing myself to you. My name is Akin. I'm a youth copper posted to this local government area. And um, I have no friends. I don't know anybody around here. You know I'm new. Uh, so it's always quiet and lonely. So you are a youth copper? Oh yes. I wish I would qualify as a youth copper someday. Uh -huh. I just finished writing my SSC examination. I see. And I don't see the possibility of furthering with my education. Okay. Because my parents are poor. Mm, uh, uh, what do you do now? I teach in a nearby primary school. Hmm. You see, Aduni, mm, I just hope things will turn out right for both of us. Is it because there are a lot of opportunities out there? Mm. And once the climate is right, the sky can be the limit. Okay. It's nice meeting you. Uh, yes, Aduni, a pleasure meeting you. I should leave now. All right. I'll be late for school. Yes. Uh, Aduni, um, you see, I just want to let you know that um, with your beautiful talent and your ambition, I'm sure the sky is the limit for you. And I would like to 
meet you again. Eh? And if there's any way I can assist you, it will be my pleasure. Bye bye. Thank you, beautiful angel. Bye. Ah, it is as sweet as your name. Mm. I don't need. What? I will marry you. I will take you to the United States of America. Really? Oh, <laughs> Aki, I love you. Mm. But. My parents want to know whoever proposes marriage to me before that things come up. Um, do you arrange to meet my mother? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, 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 but not now. Eh? I would meet your parents when the time is ripe, Aduni. Hmm? I trust your judgment. I'll wait. Uh, come, Aduni. Let me tell you something. What? I want your first pregnancy to be twins. <laughs> eh? Mm. Twins? Yes. That's going to be great. You know something? Why attend the nappies for one? I'll breastfeed the other. What about that? Ha 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 ha! You're so funny! <laughs> okay. I better be on my way now. It's already late. Mm. Ah, Duny. I thought you told me that your parents have gone to visit your grandmother. Eh, uh, yes, no. Eh, no. Uh, uh, Aduni. What? Uh, uh, why not spend the night with me here now? Eh? I will be lonely. Only me will be here now. Eh? Aduni. Uh. Stay over for the night. No, Akin. You know you are, we are not married yet. I can't sleep here. Uh, I can't sleep here at all. Aduni, my sweetheart. Eh? Look, this is your future home. Eh? You need to get used to it. The earlier oh. you get used to it, the better. Aduni. Oh, Aki, eh? please. You know my mother shouldn't know that I come here. Ah, no. What do you want people to, to, to say or do? Clap for me for being a good girl. Okay, come off it. I can't sleep it. I don't need wait, 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 wait. I, I, I have something for you. Eh? Wait. What? I'm gonna give you something. What? <laughs> A surprise. What? A surprise. Yeah. What <laughs> this for me? Yes, and this too. Eh. Ah, I don't need. Yeah. <laughs> have you? Yes, my sweetheart. You know what? What? I will wake you up very early tomorrow morning before anybody wakes up. Hmm? And there will be no problem. Nothing will happen. You understand? Uh, your staying here tonight will cement our relationship. It will show that you love me and that I love you, Aduni. Oh, Aduni, you are so beautiful. You are so lovely to touch. Your beautiful hair, your long hair, Please. your lovely eyes. Me. Eh? Aduni. Oh, look at your beautiful face. Aduni, oh. Aduni, Aduni, eh? Aduni. Okay. Eh? Mm? Promise me you won't let me down. Ah, Aduni, let you down. The love of my life, my heart drop, the eye, the apple of my eyes. Never, Aduni. Never. Hey, never, Aduni. 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 Everybody in the house is awake now. Oh, you are the one who caused all this trouble. 
trouble for me. Oh. And I told you I don't want to sleep here yesterday night now. Don't worry, don't worry. How do I sneak out on notice? You are the one who caused all this trouble for me. Oh. You are the one, you know. <coughs> I don't need my love. Don't worry. I will find a strategy for you. Huh? Don't worry. My mom warned me not to fall, to fall a victim of this kind of situation. Now I betray the trust she has in me. God, how do I undo this? You will see. Leave me, door. Haki! Aduni. Ma? You must stay away from men until you are ripe enough for marriage. <laughs> you see, in the olden days, <laughs> any man that met his wife as a virgin, the family will bring different types of gifts to the lady's parents. Mm -hmm. And as a lady, you must maintain your respect and dignity. You must not fool around. Because any lady that's fooled around stands the risk of contacting sexually transmitted diseases. Also, I want you to know that your body is the temple of God. And you must keep it holy. God frowns at immorality, you know. <laughs> that was why he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. If you listen to my advice, you will see that it is very, very profitable to be patient. Because I remember the first day I met your father. <laughs> Aduni, yesterday night, you vomited twice. Mm. You are pregnant. No, mommy. No words. Come. Aduni? Ma? I said you are pregnant. It's just that. It's just that what? I think I've missed my period. You have missed what? Aduni, you miss your period. You are pregnant, Aduni. Ah, you have disgraced me. You have put me to shame. You put me to shame. What have you achieved in life? Ah, this girl. Ah, you have killed me. You have killed me. This is a very good food, very palatable. This is the type of food I love to eat. God will bless you. If I have to eat one million times, this is the type of food I would love to be eating. By the way, where is Adoni? Won't she come and greet me and take the clothes I bought for her? I asked her to fetch water for me. Good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Hmm. God forbids what will move you to tears. What is the matter? Adoni. What is wrong with Adoni? Adoni is pregnant. She has put us to shame. In spite of all the warnings I gave to this girl. Uh, Adoni is what? 
she's pregnant. Ah, this girl has finished me. She has dashed all my hopes on earth. Who is responsible for this mess? I don't know. But I warned you about this. Look, you are your daughter. You must produce the person that is responsible for this or else. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Please, we are looking for a youth couple who lives in this house. He left not quite 20 minutes ago. A big glory came and he has packed all in things. He, he said he has finished his youth. Ah, Muda Rod, you funny? That's the story of my life. Right now, the copper cannot be located. Nobody even knows where to find him. Mm -hmm. I can imagine the situation in which you have found yourself. But you caused it. Because if you had listened to your parents, as God commanded us, that we should listen to the instructions of our fathers and to the teachings of our mothers, you would not have found yourself in this position. See, you have sinned against God. For you lost your virginity at an unripe time. Ajoke, I regret all my actions. Hmm. Okay, listen to me. While I was in Lagos, I met God, and since my life has not been the same again. Really? Yes. For if you know God, your life will not be the same again. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. God will deliver you from your problems and even the seed in you will not suffer. I'm ready to accept Christ. Anything that will put an end to all my sufferings. But first, my advice for you is that you be in constant touch with Jesus Christ by attending a nearby church regularly. Okay? Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, Yes, I'm listening. As I was saying, Uncle, yeah. Dapo is a very brilliant child. I'm not financially capable to look after him. I can't send him to our institution. I need your help. Please help me, Uncle. I need your help, please. <laughs> I do need I can understand the situation you find yourself. It could be that God really wants me to look after Dabo. After all, myself and my wife, we've been without child for a very long time. And we arranged for Dabo's travel documents so that we can travel together to the United States. Ah, Uncle, I'm so happy. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Ah. Oh, God. I am in trouble. Haki, this is the child you have abandoned for years. In other words, these two children are yours. This is an abomination. It's unacceptable, Haki. You are wicked. You're wicked. <laughs> hmm. Brother Akin, I hope you also will forgive Brother Olani. <laughs> I've already forgiven him. When Tanya's parents came to me for prayers, I saw a wall between Tanya and Dambo. And when Dambo and Tanya came to me for prayers too, I saw the same vision. Obviously, they are not meant for each other. 
this is serious. <laughs> Dampo, I wrote a letter to you. I warned you not to marry Taya, but you refused to listen to me. You refused. <laughs> I can't believe this. So, Dampo and myself are children of the same father. <laughs> Brother Aki, this is a veiled truth. The reward of fornication and adultery. <laughs> you abandoned this woman and her son, forgetting that nemesis will catch up with every evildoer. Definitely, one will reap what one sows. Brother Aki, you need to pray very hard for forgiveness. You have sinned against God. I have prayed. I have asked God to forgive me. I wonder why this is happening to me at this time. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hmm. Punishment always accompanies disobedience. It is when we repent and accept the punishment that God shows his mercy on us. Remember, David committed adultery in spite of all his remorse and regret, the child in question still died. But God showed his mercy on David by making sure that he gave birth to Solomon. And God fulfilled his promises of David having the child after him. Hmm. If you study your Bible very well, you also know that our Lord Jesus Christ came from the lineage of David. Brother Akin, since you have repented, you must also accept the punishment. Oh God, have mercy, Lord. Oh. <laughs> ah, Pastor, please don't dismiss this matter that way. Please. What do we do next? <laughs> Lord, why me? Why me? God, why should this happen to me? Why? I don't deserve it. This is a complicated and serious issue before us human beings. But in the sight of God, there's no problem that is too big for him to solve. <laughs> Happily, God has provided a solution by ensuring that Tanya was not pregnant. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> this is a strong lesson for all children and for every one of us. It is good to know God from youth so that when you grow old, you will not depart from it. Seek him while he may be found. Call on him while he is near.
you be